Okay, now we're going into hive four. This hive last year was a very defensive hive. I mean, very defensive. But we'll see, they do change. They may have changed the queen herself, could have superseded. We'll see. building comb in there where they had formed it before the building comb and these haven't got a super on so this could be an indication they need a super let's get them to go down They're building a lot of calm there. Not looking forward to seeing inside here, I must admit. If I remember rightly, these love to proclise everything. Oh dear me. It looks like the space was a bit too high. Between there. Uh, between the brew box and the eek. That's why they built comb there. But we can have a look in these this drone brood. And to be honest I can't see any mites at all. I know it's not good to lose all of them, but just look in and no, can't see any mites on those drones. Make sure the queen ain't on here. But there is a massive build up on this colour, I must admit. They're growing pretty quick. See if we can get them down. If I remember rightly, this was also a swarm. That should calm them down a bit. Yeah, a closer look on the drone brood on that. Cannot see any mites on there whatsoever. Happy days. So that means for me the treatment worked. I'm going to clean this off a bit. That'll be a nightmare once I've put the queen excluder on. Come on girls, move over. We're going to have a lot to clean up. I must admit they've been putting nectar in this as well. stay up there don't they? I think this is definitely one of them contenders for two supers. The supers at the beginning are already drawn out so I am imagining that this hive will be pretty much or very close to being honey bound. There's a lot a lot of bees here. Lots of bees. Give you another quick look at the seams in a minute once all this is off. A bit of spring clean. So we go. Go on, move over then. This time last year these bees would have been eating me alive. They were very defensive. 
But today, so far, it's seeming quite nice. So if you look how many seams we got, virtually every frame is full. Yeah, I'm a bit worried now that we could have a lot of queen cells on here. This has always been a strong hive, but it's all also been very, as I said previously, defensive. And some people say, oh, that they're normally your best producers, but the book fasts produce really well. And they're as, well, they've got a very good temperament. They seem very calm. This is the first frame, it's all drawn out, they've polished it out. There's nectar on this side, but not lots. So they have got a bit of space. This one's heavy, so I'm saying this one is chocolate. Yeah, full pollen, bee bread, or well mainly bee bread, pollen, nectar, just chocolate with all food. Pollen, bee bread, nectar, full, which is good. We want them to have enough food. Should start getting into some brew now. Yep. I've got a full frame of cat eggs and bread and larvae. Bunch there, we need to split up to make sure they ain't hiding cells. Now that's another good frame. Cat brood and the capins and larvae at the bottom. The capins are very clean, biscuit colour. No perforations. Oh, that's looking very good. Onto one of the plastic frames. I do actually like these plastic frames for how quick they are. And as you can see, the bees don't mind them. Bit of dry brood on here. Yeah, about to be dry brood, and there's a queen cup at the bottom. I see the queen cup. I don't need to see it just there. Let's have a look. two queen cups there. There's no eggs in them so just squash it down. Drone brood's there down that one rib. Now the bees don't like you blowing on them but it does move them and they put drone rubes down that rib. That's where there's two like plastic bars that holds in the foundation. But now to be honest I'm quite impressed with these red plastic foundation ones. Very quick, no nailing, and the bees don't mind them, as you can see. Okay, there's a few bees on the bottom, we're trying to draw some cone on the bottom. See them making the curtain, when they do that curtain, the building wax. We don't want building down there. This is another full frame. Cat brood and larvae. Yeah, no queen cups on there. Give them a bit of smoke. I've got to deal with that eek in a bit, but that'll 
they'll stay off to be honest. They're not putting it back on, they don't need they don't need feeding anyway. Another start of a queen cup. We don't want them. No egg in it, but we're in prevention mode at the minute. Still lots of brood, cat brood, emerging brood, larvae, all stages on there. A few drones at the top, we know we've already crushed a few of those. Hey ho. It is a good way of checking mites though, pulling some drone, drone, calm, uh, drone calm apart. But, I don't think it's the nicest thing to do. Okay, we've got comb on the bottom of this. More brace comb. Young larvae eggs. These floors are a little bit higher that, and I like it that way because the Varox ED will be used for oxalic vaporising, or oxalic vaporisation I should say, doesn't fit under the small floors. Like my bellows, it doesn't fit so I've got to adapt them this year. Probably cut some out the floor so I can get the Varox ED inside. But that is a good system, I do like it. Put it in, press the button, walk away, and back when it's finished. I suppose it would be best practice to wear a mask, but I don't think there's any need. Again, all brood around the outside, a bit of drone brood there, all inside there is eggs. Well, still haven't seen the Queen. That's a pain. Nice looking frames, and the temperament's not too bad, so I ain't complaining. This time last year, water. again, lots of brood. Near now, so you can imagine when these have hatched, this is going to be a massive population I'm just ready to get all the spring crops. Pollen. There's a little green cup there, the starting of. We'll get rid of that. No egg in it, but I hope we don't want it. Oh, there's a queen. Found the queen on this one. She's just there. Can you see it? Running up. She had a yellow dot, but it's coming off. She's just walking up there. Happy days. Queen's in situ. 
being amazing. This is look carnioli. Very dark. These are very dark bees as well. And they're all over my microphone now, so if they are buzzing you out, I do apologise, but there's not a fat lot I can do other than smoking them down. So now I'm happy with them. Definitely need supers. So that's the next job. Queen excluder and supers. With all the girls. Just need to go get a queen excluder. Nearly forgot the crown board, but hi ho. Oh, what we've got, we've got one box that has got drawn foundation, which is the bottom box, and the top one has got undrawn foundation to give them something to do. That my friend is it. I want to shake these bees off down here but they will come back. So shook them bees off.